safely say the Ibiza cut is done. Set back for women. Amber heard, the disappointment I feel today is beyond words. I'm heartbroken that the mountain of evidence still was not enough to stand up to this proportionate power influence and swerve my ex-husband. Oh, f off. F off. You got found out. You're a lying bird. P off. I can't even cry. My, my dog stepped on a bee. Mm. Who even says that in court? Like, oh, she's so annoying. We're all celebrating with mega pints. What well on, justice for Johnny. Mr. Deb, did you have eight to ten ecstasy pills in one night? No, ma'am. I'd, I'd be dead. Exactly. Fucking eight to ten ecstasy pills. Might be having eight to ten ecstasy pills tomorrow, but... No, I'm joking. This one I'm holding up is the Ibiza cut done. We can safely say that the Ibiza cut is now finished. 18 for the third, 92.6. Today, 87.6. I set out to achieve 5k of fat loss and I absolutely nailed it. Yes, I'm going to blow smoke up my own ass. I absolutely bossed this cut. Well, maybe I didn't because I, I had to go aggressive in the last 10 days, so maybe I didn't actually boss it, but... 10 day aggressive fat loss started on the 24th or 23rd of the 5th, 89.6, so I dropped two key in 10 days. The rest, I went Mykonos, I went to a couple of raves, festival, how to, how to weight cut, I suppose. It was really enjoyable. So uh, we got IV in a couple of days, gonna go and do my 5K fasting run. I've got my electrolytes. I beef a clothes haul. Thank God all my clothes came, man. I was scared they weren't going to come because apparently like we, we're celebrating this thing this weekend. There's some some old bird. All I know is like a son of a nonce and we paid bare money or something to like bail him out. And we're also spending bare money on some celebration this weekend for this old bird. And there's like a living crisis going on at the moment. I don't really get it, but we get four days off. So it's all good. I've eaten a clove saw, haircut, pack, and then, uh, yeah, hopefully my flight isn't affected because Gatwick is looking mad at the moment. Uh, if, if the woman abuses the man, you're gonna have to go to jail. You're gonna have a mega pint tonight? Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah mega pints! You gotta get on this one. Last time I was in the motor, I was banging on about some tune. This one. Oh my word. Afraid to feel. Big up Tay Tay for this one. It's the pace change for me, this is. Oh my god. Right, let's go and train. So this has been my breakfast for the last couple of weeks. Usually I have two of these, but I'm getting a Domino's tonight, so. These are the protein thin bagels, Warburton. Little bit of reduced fat, cream cheese, some rocket, bacon. Then I have a egg white omelet with some spinach. Now just quick, create a nice coriander, tomato and reduced fat French style dressing. And that is my breakfast. Well, 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 we meet again and I beef for clothes haul. The last time we did this, I think it was about two or three years ago. How time flies. So I'm only going from Saturday to Wednesday. We had planned hire for black coffee, Sunday Cotton Beach, but now we're going glitter box as well. So I had to get a last minute t-shirt for that. Monday DC 10, Tuesday, I think the England Good Germany game is playing and then Wednesday we're back on. So uh, not got a huge amount. We'll run through some accessories, some footwear, trousers and t-shirts. We'll start with trousers and shorts. So I've got myself a pair of Levi's 501s. I've got a, a size bigger. So the 32 waist fit me a lot better. However, it was slightly too tight on the leg. The 34 waist was a bit off, but the leg was better because with my denim jeans or any denim jeans, I don't like them too tight. Wearing tight denim jean, jeans is a bit of a weird look. So I like to be able to roll them up a little bit. I went for the slightly lighter wash pair just because I'm wearing a white toweling t-shirt and it looks a little bit better than the darker one. So yeah, waist 
34 501 just from Levi's, I think I've got them in, in the blue water one. As for trousers, Uniqlo, absolute boss for most trousers really. I don't use them enough. I used to use them a lot when they were in Bromley and then they went. It's the, one of the worst retail decisions, mate, getting rid of Uniqlo and Bromley. So I went with the green cargo pant. These are fantastic. They're not too tight around the ankle either. I'm, I really dislike tight, ankle fitted trousers like that or particularly like this particular style where it's elasticated don't mind skinny jeans when it's like that i don't like it these are actually quite loose so you can wear with converse i wore them to that rave slash festival the other day in brockwell park really comfortable nice and light as well not too heavy you know some cargo pants or trousers can be too heavy absolutely spot on so these are the uniqlo and they, they come in a few different colors as well black and i think navy blue on to t-shirts so this is from Diesel, uh, a white toweling top. It's meant to be oversized. I tried on the XL, I tried on the large. It weren't working. It was a little bit too, I think because the, the kind of waist is a bit elasticated, the oversized look just didn't, it, I couldn't pull it off. So I went size medium. I went right down for this. So I'll be pairing this with my Levi's. Really nice, comfortable fit. Really like the arms as well. It's not too tight. It covers up the full arm, but it's, it's still quite fitted, which is spot on. So that's from Diesel in Selfridges. Quite like the orange, orange pattern that's running through. We have a t-shirt from Favela. This was in a shop from Blue Water. I wanted quite a, almost a really garish, loud print for one of my outfits, like almost a kind of Travis Scott setup garish print cargos and some decent some decent runners so i went for this been eyeing up this t-shirt for a while in that crepe shop in blue water but uh, they never had my size this is an xl and it fits quite perfectly actually it is oversized but the whole uh, the whole fit i think you can actually go on to favela studios on google and they've got quite a, a large array of t-shirts if you want to jump on but yeah really good quality very heavyweight Spot on. And then my last minute t-shirt, can't go wrong with an Obey. This is Obey's new season. Again, I went size down, so I went medium. Just wanted it a bit tighter. That's the Echo Park print on the front, Echo Park print on the back. I like Obey. Sometimes they're a bit hit and miss. These are a big, big hit, mate. Really do like this. Bit of detail on the, uh, on the arm as well. Got that from Selfridges. Next day delivery, thank God. And then we are going to Cotton Beach on Sunday. Highly recommend anyone that's going to our beef that wants a lovely chilled. It's not too chilled actually because it's quite, it does get a bit, do you know what I mean? But it's nice, do you know what I mean? It's not too in your face. You can always move if, you, if you're getting a bit annoyed with the sound, but it's like a jazz. It's really nice, a good view. It's, it's been on the our beef vlog before. I had a particular style in mind what I wanted to wear, which was like a, a, a Revere polo. Andrea Polo had it on. It was like a mustard Revere polo like that, the one with no button, just open. My Reese trousers and my loafers could not for the life of me find a mustard polo like that anywhere. Like it was doing my head in. There were some that was like 270 quid. I'm like, I'm not spending that. So I got this from, oh, I can't remember the name. I'll put it on the screen. But they do this in a mustard, and they do this in like a really nice navy blue as well. So it's quite a retro 80s, 90s style print. All mustard, put it on the other day. I've got a size large, fits perfectly. So I'll be wearing that with my Reese trousers. So that is my t-shirts and shorts and trousers. Footwear, I've gone for a pair of Reebok Ripples. Naughty shoe, man. I don't know why, but it reminds me of my mum back in the 90s, just like looking sick. So I went for a pair of Reebok Ripples. I think they're only like 69, 70 quid. So I'm wearing these with my cargo trousers and my favela top as well. So, so comfortable as well. I put them on the other day, oh my God. Ideal, it's what you want. Comfortability in Ibiza is, is required, you know, especially if you're doing like 12 till eight in the morning, you need something. Knee side comfy, so I've got these from size. Size, and then I've been eyeing these up for a while from Represent. I was, I was in two minds. I was like, do I go down like a New Balance route 
So do I wear like my diesel tailing t-shirt, my Levi's and then get like a, a beigey pair of New Balance or go with like a, a kind of still a chunkier shoe. So I've been seeing these alphas. What size are I getting? I think I've got them in size 10. Yeah, these are the represent alpha lows. Oh mate, these are a naughty shoe. Absolutely quality. Same sort of style really. A bit ripply on the bottom. But I just thought, yeah, these are a bit of me. I, I, I originally tried them on in a different color in, where did I try them on? Choice. I was like, no, I want the black pair with like the white stitching. Their vault is open now, by the way. I opened yesterday, so if any, any bits on represent, quality shoe. Looking forward to, to banging that. And then just accessories wise, I didn't want to take out my like, expensive sunglasses, but I still wanted a, a similar pair that looked like, you know, almost uh, the same. These are from ASOS. I think they're called A-I-R-E, yeah, but they're, they're, they're still, like they're, they're just that circular design that I really like that I think suits my face quite well, 15 quid. Like there is absolutely no point unless you're going to maybe ocean or like nice bit of dinner. Even ocean, be careful bringing expensive sunglasses. So I just got these for, for the evenings. Also, I didn't want to take my watch, but I wanted something gold. So we're going God tier boy. God tier. Cassia. Can't go wrong with a Cassio, mate. Gold Cass. Nice and lightweight on the wrist. Beautiful bit of accessories. I'm going to take this one. I'm also going to take my other G Shock Daily Paper one. Daily Paper and G Shock did a collaboration a few months ago. It's banging. So, gold one to go with the denim and the toweling. I think that's about it. Socks. I wanted a decent pair of like Bape socks. I know they're stupidly expensive, but I've just been having my eye on this pattern. I wanted to wear the Bape with the Obey and the shorts as one of my outfits, so we'll be doing that. And then these are just cheap and cheerful. These are the Top Shop community ones. So they come in a two pack, black and white as well. And then they've got that kind of Adidas style stripe without the uh, Adidas print. There we go. The 48 hour countdown is on, my God. A couple of my boys are there at the moment, it's killing me, but only 48 hours. Okay, I'm gonna do a bit of work and uh, I'll see you for a meal. Not a cheap meal, because you don't really do cheap meals, do we? Just a meal, just an end of diet treat, a Domino's and a few snacks from Tesco. Half and half, uh, I, a good friend of mine is an avid Domino's pizza lover as much as I am and they recommended pepperoni, pineapple, red onions and sweet corn. I've always said nah nah nah, I'll try it today. Chicken dippers, nachos, moretti, bash. There we go then folks, our beef are cut done. Clothes all done. I always get quite emotional at the end of things. I think that's because of the trauma that I received when I was a child going from primary school, leaving all my friends and going to a secondary school. Where I knew no, where I knew no, oh God, this fucking hay fever, man. <sighs> sort of busy day today. I've got to get some euros, drop gun off, go for a Nando's with a boy. And then we're flying together tomorrow me and him. So that should be good, I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna try and get to it about seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one. Try and get at least six hours, land, land, bit of breakfast, and then high IV for Saturday night. Wicked. All right, I'll see you there. If you're going to Ibiza, can't wait. We've done it, folks. No COVID, normality is resumed. Let's get after it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Ibiza prep series. Weren't really a prep series, but I hope you enjoyed and could take a few things from training and nutrition. Five kilos off. It's good. Good run. Right. See you in the white aisle. Thank you, Gemma. Much love.